Hello everyone, this is Saki Nakata Stuff I Want to Anime here, and as I always say, click the bell notifications so you're notified for the latest content on the channel, like the video, subscribe, comment something, etc. All four things are optional. Uh, tonight, we are, well, it's night time for me anyway, I don't know about you guys. Uh, we're continuing Season 1 of Vampire School, Vampire King, and Vampire Queen. Which, Vampire King, Vampire Queen are the side, well, names for the, for the story. The series is called, uh, Vampire School, and you already know why, I'm, I'm assuming anyway. Uh, if you guys don't know what's going on in the story, this is, I'm having fun making this one, I'm like, oh, I always, like, have fun making mine. It's so awesome that you guys are enjoying it. Uh. Oh, what was the last chapter we read? I was gonna have to say, like, just go watch the, uh, video before this one for Vampire School Season 1. So, it's, the series is called Vampire School, but there's gonna be a different name under it. So, the chapter we left off on, if you guys didn't already know, spoiler warning, uh, if you guys haven't seen the last video, click off now. Basically, there was this kid, uh, I'm just gonna explain from chapter 3, so on and so forth. It was, like, one of the most fun chapters that I've ever made for this story. Basically, there was this kid, his name was, uh, oh god, what was his name? Uh, Patrick. Yeah. Uh, his full name, however, is... It doesn't say in chapter 3, uh, what's his full name? I'm trying to find it, hold on. Patrick Miller. So yeah, Patrick Miller is just a character for that story. He gets chased by a scarecrow, uh, throughout his house. He gets pursued anyway, which is still like a... Neat word for chaste. And he, uh... He runs down his stairs, breaks his left leg, and he's, like, falling everywhere. And he finds his pistol, like, magically on the ground. I mean... Like, this poor horror anime story character that I made... It goes through a lot. He, uh... He gets stabbed by the scarecrow once it comes up behind him. Uh, cause he's like in the dining room like holding his gun. His left leg is still broken. He gets stabbed in his, uh, what's it called? He gets stabbed in his left shoulder. He screams, but... What happens is just... It's horrifying. He gets... Uh, thrown on the ground by the scarecrow that comes up behind him when he's sitting down. The scarecrow has a knife. He stabs it in his, Patrick's left shoulder. He, and the gun goes flying out of his hand, by the way. If that wasn't made clear in the last video. Uh, and then he, like, decays into his own blood. And he's screaming for help, you know? Uh, and basically, it's a really, like messed up chapter in the whole story uh but the whole purpose of this chapter was when patrick died the scarecrow like was just back to normal and because he decayed into his own blood it was for cedric tamoki and senna or not not senna but sen tamaki which is the vampire king and queen btw uh so they could drink Patrick's blood to keep, like, their thirst and hunger under control. Which, the whole thirst and hunger thing is a big part of Cedric's character. Uh, however, all that being said, I just thought I'd put the L there. Yet again, that was a spoiler uh, if you guys haven't seen the last video. So... Without further ado, let's continue. This is uh, Chapter 4, Cedric's Evil Plan of Insanity from His Vampire Power. As of 
8.07 a.m., Cedric woke up and saw a note saying that he should stay home for a bit and lay low. But as he sat on his bed, all dressed in black, he then searched up what vampires need to eat. No, no, I can't eat anyone. No, I hate this. Someone, just please make this end said Cedric as he cried, but as he went downstairs, he saw a knife on the kitchen table. He grabbed the kitchen knife without thinking, then with his mind going crazy, his blue eye color went away as he slit his left wrist. His eyes were now white and red. As his fangs appeared, he drank his blood off of his left wrist as it healed. Ugh, not enough blood. I must kill. Wait. No, what the hell am I doing? Someone. I'm so hungry, said Cedric as he fell on the kitchen floor crying. As his phone rang, he sat up and pulled it out of his pocket. It's, it's Molly. Hello, Molly, you there? Yes, Cedric, I am. But, I need you to come to my house, please, Cedric. Fine, I'm on my way, said Cedric. As he hung up, he put his phone in his pocket, then grabbed his revolver and went to his garage. He saw it was night time, but as he said, okay, my plan is to go to Molly's house <laughs> and kill her or make her like me, a vampire. <laughs> yes, perfect, said Cedric as he... Uh, as he had an insane look on his face and drove to Molly's house. As he rolled his white and red eyes into his head. As he rode on his motorcycle. His eyes then unrolled. They were now black and red. His vampire powers were in control. As he felt insane with an evil smile, he said, I'm coming, Molly. I'll make you into a vampire like me. And then... <laughs> As Cedric was still driving on his motorcycle, on the highway to Molly's house, Molly's life was now set to motion in danger. That's what sums up chapter 4. So you can see, like... How insane Cedric is getting because of his, uh, his vampire powers are taking control. And he's, like, really, really hungry. So now the best thing he says is, like, oh, let's go kill my friend and just fucking drink her blood or whatever. Nah, let's see how all that shit goes down. Uh, luckily, for part two of season one, I got chapter five here. Got all you covered. And yes, uh, before you ask if Cedric is a bad person, if you haven't seen the first part of season one, highly recommended yet again, go see it. He's not a bad person. He was just a typical guy minding his typical, typical uh, life. He's kind of like a emotional character for all the ideas I have that he's going to go through. Hell and back again, honestly. Yeah, I've never put a character from my horror anime stories in such, such desperation, I should say. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be fantastic. Uh, anyways, chapter 5, Cedric's motorcycle ride to Molly's with his vampire powers in control with such insanity. Yeah, that's the name of chapter 5, everyone. As Cedric leaned forward... On his motorcycle, his eyes turned full red as his saliva ran down his face from his mouth. 
He went 40 miles fast, then said, Yes, my vampire blood is going crazy, but too bad. I'm so hungry. Someone save me. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! As Cedric tilted his head back till it reached his back, he smiled with such insanity, then tilted it in front of him as he rode faster to an open hole like a crater in the road. He went up the ramp and he rode up that ramp so fast and in midair he said, Time to ride downwards. And as he did, he turned his eyes to white and red. But as this time had stopped in motion, meaning like time stopped, I should put it simply, as time stopped, he had a surprised look on his face. He could not move, and so in the but look, in the motorcycle was facing all the way down. But like I said, time had stopped; nothing was moving. What? What the hell? Is this? What the hell is this? Why has time stopped all of a sudden? Said Cedric, as he looked up and saw Sen. All dressed in black in her vampire mode. With her eyes black and red. With her fangs out. As she then grabbed Cedric by the neck. And threw him on the road on his back. But while in midair he screamed. Wah! Snap. <gasps> Ow! Ow! But. He first landed standing up on his left leg. His bone stuck out as he laid on the road. Blood came out of his leg. But as his left leg snapped back into place, he felt relieved. Ugh, I can regenerate. Wait, you bitch. You threw me. Yes, Cedric. Tamoki. I did. As a punishment. I didn't mean to break your legs. Sorry about that. Now why did you leave the house? Said Sen. As Cedric stood up. Sen aimed a pistol at Cedric. Point blank by the way. I left cause. My hunger is driving me insane. Then Molly called. Said I had to come over. That's why. And that is it. But as Sen's eyes went back to white and blue, her fangs went away. But as Sen put the gun away, they both walked up to Molly's house and knocked on Molly's door. Oh, hi. Come in, Cedric. Oh, and... Sen? Nah, no matter. Extra company is always good, said 18-year-old Molly. Molly Pines said, "18-year-old Molly Pines, yeah, that's her last name, like like a like a pine cone." Anyways, said Molly Pines with such enjoyment. Molly has short black hair, gray eyes, white skin, blue lips, a medium-sized butt, and medium-sized boobs, and wears a gray shirt, blue pants, and brown shoes. But as Cedric had knocked out Molly. He and Sen dragged her to her room and put duct tape on her mouth and tied her up to a chair. But as Cedric bit her while she was passed out, he sucked some blood from her to keep his hunger under control. Then as his fangs went away, he wiped the blood off of him. And then sat down with Sen on the bed, waiting for Molly to become the vampire princess. That's chapter five done. Oh, and that uh, mm, that sums up season one, uh, part two. Okay, well that was convenient. All right, um, shit. Okay. 
So, I guess I can just say this now. I want to thank everyone for watching, viewers of the world. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment something if you feel the need to. And I promise I'll answer as soon as possible. And hit the bell notification so you're notified for the newest content on the channel. Uh... And have a great night, day, or evening, depending on what time it is in your region, Pacific Zone. Uh, and all that being said and out of the way, you all have a good time. Because I can't speak for your uh, time in general, whether it's like night, day, or evening. Uh, so yeah, you all have a good time out there. Uh, stay tuned for more content on the channel. I'm trying to get as many gaming videos out there as I can. Uh, all in good time, though. And all of you, just, I don't know, enjoy yourselves. This has been Sucking the Kyra Stuff, Final Entry Anime here. Peace out. I'll see all of you in the next video, viewers. Bye-bye.